Accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Yeah, we are happy to be with you here on a Tuesday, everybody, despite the forecast, which does look a little dreary here over the next couple of days. Let's get into things. And we've got a live view of Hershey this morning, 29 degrees. So it's cold, uh, but it's not as cold as yesterday when many of us were in the teens. And notice the difference, too. A lot of clouds beginning to move into the region this morning. Lebanon, a little blurry here on the camera, but 35 degrees, even warmer in this particular spot at the Lebanon Farmers Market. Dew point of 30. So dew point's not coming up just yet to meet with the temperatures, but they will. And uh, we will evidence that on the radar. So 22 at the airport yesterday, but surrounding areas were in the teens. 47 was the high. Uh, that's about where we thought we would be. 46, the normal, a very seasonable day. No rain yesterday. We still have a deficit. And the rain over the next couple of days will not be a lot. We're not going to make up the deficit. We're really not going to make up much at all as we expect less than a quarter inch of rain. But we can start to see these showers just sort of take over. It's probably raining in Chambersburg right now. We'll check that camera a little bit later for you as this rain lifts up. Now, the, the challenge in forecasting. The next couple of days isn't really going to be the rain. Less than a quarter of an inch, it's not going to be that big of a deal. The challenge is going to be in terms of temperature forecasting because some of the model guidance wants to get us really warm the next couple of days, but there's going to be a low level east wind. There's going to be a lot of clouds. And so I think with that, the challenge is going to be to overcome that. And here in the valley, it's tough to scour out some of this colder air. It's really dense near the surface. It's tough to lift it out. So right now, temperatures with the clouds, with the showers developing, warmer than yesterday, but still kind of chilly, especially when they're right around the freezing mark. Now, again, right here's the proof, though. A lot warmer than yesterday by about 10 to 15 degrees. The question is, are we going to be able to scour this out? We've got showers lifting up from the north, so there's your moisture. We do have a front well off to the west, so this thing isn't really going to work its way through until tomorrow. So that's why we have two days of this. We get a bit of a southeast flow here today with showers developing. But the reason why the temperature forecast is tough is we've got this east wind developing just offshore. We're also going to be north of the warm front today. So I think today temperatures are going to have a challenge climbing. I think a better chance tomorrow of tapping into some milder air as the warm front lifts in, we will likely get into the 50s tomorrow with occasional showers and then stay pretty seasonable here through the end of the week. So the, with the clouds, with the occasional showers, and with the warm front to our south and a bit of an east wind, I think today's going to be cloudy, cool, damp, a bit raw. And you'll notice these showers just come in waves right through tonight and even again into tomorrow, although this really isn't painting all that wet of a picture. It's just going to be damp and a bit dreary. And then Thursday we may get some peaks of sunshine. Uh, but it is still going to be rather cloudy as we await our next system to approach on Friday. So rainfall amounts really do not impress me. I would say less than a quarter of an inch. And that's for both days, both today and tomorrow. In terms of winds, again, we're gonna, it's not going to be windy. But the flow is going to be coming here from the south and east. Tomorrow really looks like a very quiet day. No winds to speak of here. The winds don't pick up again until we head into the day on Thursday. A little bit of a breeze here from the north. Uh, on Thursday before our next system moves in. So the extended outlook shows a couple of different things. Again, more waves coming through. Here comes one on Friday and Saturday now. Saturday morning could bring a wintry mix to the region. We're going to keep a close watch on that. And then next week, a pretty good front. Look at this thing digging out of the Midwest. That's going to head our direction here on Wednesday. So when we show you that on the surface chart here and the future radar, we can see some showers late Friday giving way to perhaps some snow and sleet early Saturday morning. I don't think it's going to be a big deal, uh, but nonetheless, we we could tap into some wintry weather. Kind of cloudy here Sunday, Monday, and then we await the approach of our next system, which looks to come in the form of rain by the middle part of next week. So, again, a very progressive pattern keeping the Midwest wet. In fact, uh, really above normal precipitation in places like Michigan, Chicago, Indiana, uh, part of Ohio. We should still see rain every, almost every other day, it seems like. And that's going to be the case here this week. Occasional light showers today, more tonight. Notice temperatures don't drop much, 43. We should get into the 50s as the warm front lifts through tomorrow, and then mostly cloudy on Thursday. Allie, we'll keep a watch. I, I don't expect a lot of rain or, or a wintry mix, but I think late Friday uh, into Saturday, there could be something there. We'll keep you, you posted on that. Uh, temperatures, though, remain above freezing. And then just a lot of clouds. We're just in a very wavy, dreary pattern. Here. Mm, but don't no, don't go canceling any plans. For no, Saturday. no, I, I wouldn't just yet. Yeah, doesn't look like that big of a deal. But you know, tis the season. We have to watch for this yeah. stuff. All right, thank you, Brett. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.